Welcome to Skinny Boy and Intimidated. Thank you for joining me. To all my new subscribers, thank you. Thank you for hitting that like and that subscribe button. Today I have a story about an officer shooting this young man in his car. I have a protest that goes totally wrong. And I have young black individuals who use this opportunity to kill, steal, and destroy and loot the entire environment. So without further ado, let's get it. Before I begin this video, uh, please watch all three clips before you comment below. The first clip is going to be about the shooting. The next clip is going to be about these young adults who are terrorizing the city and are using this as an opportunity to loot, kill, and destroy. And the third clip is going to be about the overall news report. So do not come at me in the comments with your emotions. Watch the same clip that I've watched and then articulate yourself in a way where you can break my points uh, down if you disagree and uh let's try to get this video to 100 likes so yeah let's get it judge dismisses all charges against philadelphia police officer who fairly shot eddie azari ends his officer dial is about to exit his own vehicle he then approaches the suspects Shots fired, shots fired, 100 West Willard. Get your hand up right now! This is the officer, please, I didn't watch West Willard. This is the officer, please, I didn't watch West Willard. I'm gonna fast forward because I want you to hear what they say. Fast forward. The shots are fired. Six shots fired at Eddie Irzari uh, while he was sitting in that car. And allegedly, according to police, they believed he had a weapon or showed a weapon instead of putting his hands up. And in fact, he had two knives in the car, but no gun that was threatening one of those officers. So again, just to back up in case viewers are just catching up, this is uh, very different and than what the initial account of what we heard from Philadelphia police in that initial initial account was that he was out of the car threatening police. He wasn't taking commands and that's why shots were fired. But you can see here that's a very different story from that police body camera footage. And that's exactly why the Azari family wanted the full extent of this video to be showed uh, to the public. Wow. That so the protest happened, I believe, two days ago, Tuesday, right? And uh, I can I can see why it happened because this officer, had, he it seemed to me, from the same video that we, we have just watched, this officer, will, to me, it looked like he already was going to shoot, shoot that kid. The fact that he had a knife, or supposedly had a knife, you have two officers around him, and you shoot him six times. What are, how, how can you even say you are afraid for your life? Now, all, all these charges have been dropped, so if I'm the family, and I see this clip of my son in his car, and you shoot him six times, and you supposedly say you, are, you were afraid for your life because he had a knife. Call bogus, 100%. I, 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 call, I call bogus. And I understand the protest. I understand why these people are mad. People are, are, are saying, hey, these cops, are, they're, they're not trained. We want justice for him. I can understand why this happened. Now. Let's also play this next clip. Philadelphia looting, break-in, stolen ATM, crime spree continues for the second night, leaving residents in, in, uh, desperate. I think they meant to say despair, but let's go. Senior correspondent Eric Sean has the story. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter amid the mayhem. Brazen mobs went wild in city center Philadelphia looting stores most with little consequence and it's always people who look like me it's always people who look like me every last one of these individuals are black and while this lady's recording this she's laughing she thinks this is funny she she thinks this is a game they're they're getting away with this type of stuff and she's just recording and finding it funny because that's what we like to do we post stuff like this on social media we say, look what I captured. Flash mob looting. Black adults. 
About 100 people, fueled by social media, descended downtown, this. breaking into the Apple Store, Lululemon, Apple? liquor stores, and other businesses to seemingly steal as much as they could. So when this happens, where's the outrage? When this happens, where's the outrage? And these black young adults, they don't even, they use a sad situation to justify their actions. Hood. Look at this. Police officers arrested looters carrying plastic bags stuffed with items like clothes, sneakers, liquor, iPhones, and iPads. What we had tonight was a bunch of criminal opportunists take advantage of a situation yes. and make an attempt to destroy our city. Not everyone seen in these videos was taking part in the looting. The rampage followed a peaceful protest after a judge dismissed murder charges against a police officer who fatally shot a man last month. But officials say the looting was not connected to that protest. It is the latest example of mass looting of stores, a wave that has hit retail from mom and pop shops to big box stores across the country. The mass shoplifting is causing Target to close nine stores in major cities. And this is not new. Tar Target has been trying to leave a long time. You have none of these stores saying we're done. Saying the stealing has cost the chain half a billion dollars in profits. Well, they need it here. Like, we don't have anything else in this, in this neighborhood. You've seen shoplifting. You don't have anything else because of how you young adults treat the community, treat the city. You use an opportunity like this to justify your actions. And then when the store leaves, you complain about what's going on. Walmart, back in Chicago, they said it, it was a race card, right? These targets lost half a billion dollars trying to support this community. People steal stuff here? Oh, yeah. How often? Um... Like four times? What are you going to do? Close one store after the other store after the other store? Yes, that's exactly what they're going to do. But now let's, let's, let's go. So now that you have watched two of those clips, right? We have a tragic situation. The family's outraged. You shot our boy. Father, you shot, you shot my son. Now, not only did you shoot him, you lied about what actually happened. You lied and you said that he was out of the car and he was resisting, not knowing that kid was still in his car, and you shot him six times because he had a knife. You shot him because he had a knife. And then the justice system not says, we're going to drop all the charges because his actions were justifiable. Now... There has to be accountability on both sides. That officer should have been charged. Should have been charged. But then we also have to look back on those people who look like me. The young, the young ones. The kid who was shot who was 27. I believe I'm 26, right? The young ones who use this opportunity to loot, kill, and destroy the city. Shame on you. And there needs to be more people like me who need to call bs on that because all those young individuals are not instilling anything anything in, into the world so when when an, another one of me gets shot you want to protest about it but you don't stop you don't stop it at a younger age you don't stop it when it matters when you have grown adults who justify their actions, you know what, you, you know right from wrong, and you still, let's go back here. You still. Will you miss this talk? Like clothes, Look at this. sneakers, Look liquor, at this. iPhones, and iPads. What we had tonight was a bunch of let's go stores right, right, right and other here. businesses to seemingly steal as much as they could. <laughs> Police officers. And those are all my people. All the black individuals, right? Running. In the beginning of the video, that lady was laughing, right? Because she thought Senior it was funny. Senior correspondent Eric Sean has the story. <laughs> Laughter amid the mayhem. Brazen mobs went wild in city center of Philadelphia. <laughs> the city of brotherly love. Let's go on to the news report. 
Here in Fort Richmond, Sky Fox over what looks like a discarded merchandise situation, all outside of a video game store there and a supermarket. It comes the same day charges were dismissed against a former Philadelphia police officer for fatally shooting a driver during a traffic stop. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Sheba Russell. We want to get right out to one of the scenes tonight. Steve, what can you tell us? Well, here is the usual scene in Center City. It's the shopping district. Broadway, all, Broad Street all the way to Rittenhouse Square. Walnut Street is shut down by police, block by block. The side streets you can see have been reopened the traffic. The Apple Store, one of the stores, hard hit. Now look inside here, and Apple, I just learned this from two detectives who went in to say, what was your loss? You'll notice a bunch of iPads and phones on the table to the right where the bag is. You'll see a bunch piled up there, right? That's various Apple products. And then on this table to the left, and so people grabbed all these expensive Apple products, and then when you steal them out of an Apple store, they instantly go bad, meaning they don't work, and the, a camera comes on, and a thing tells you, put this back to the Apple store. So they realized it wasn't working, it was disabled. My whole thing. Yes, someone lost their life. Prayers to the family. is how the same people the same people protesting for this young man saying these cops are corrupt these cops we need to have justice for this young boy we need to have justice you have a peaceful protest, and right afterwards, you have this. Two nights in a row of mass looting. It's always people who look like me. It comes down to this. You lost somebody a tra in a tragic way. And then right after you go and you and you ride and you loot. So the only thing, the truly the the only thing that is covered more is the looting and rioting. And you tend to forget about the person that was shot. You tend to forget about the the case. You have stores who will abandon your city. And then you cry and complain about what's actually going on. They're leaving us. They're leaving you because they're losing money. This was a sad situation, but somehow you you was able to make it even worse. Because not only did you lose somebody that you was trying to fight f fight for, and th th this cop sh should have been charged, but the only thing that is going to be seen now is a bunch of riots. Listen, <sighs> dear black people, dear black individuals, always keep your emotions in check. This was a sad situation to happen. Could it have been avoided? Yes, it could have been avoided. That officer could have easily not pulled his his gun, especially if he had a knife. I, I would understand it if he if that kid pointed a gun at him, but it was a knife. That officer is a coward. The justice system definitely failed here. But if I'm totally wrong, please leave a comment. Leave a comment and explain why I'm wrong. And to the young adults who are raised in a com community that does not care about them, do not be surprised when you're the next victim, when you're shot. Because a cop can easily just say, I was afraid for my life because I know how those black individuals are. I see them on the news all the time. Think about that. Your actions perpetuate how the world sees and views black individuals. So do not get mad. Don't get mad. Because this, this is what that they see. This is what the world sees about us. Is it true? <laughs> no, it's not true. But shit like this. I was afraid for my life. I shot him. Don't be the next victim. 
But hey, if you disagree with me, you can hit the thumbs down. If you agree with me, hit that like button. Drop a comment. But I hope more black individuals, we call stuff out like this. Another single parent household is going to be created. And the cycles is going to be all over. We're, we're, uh, we're going to keep on preaching police, police, police. But not change our culture, not change our environment, not instill the traits into our young adults. But hey, I'm done.